Hey, what's up guys? So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make jump scares in Unity. Now, before I start, I just want to say a couple of words. So, you guys might have not been expecting this video, and instead, the part one of the adventure game that you guys voted on. But, um, I'm having a couple of issues for it. Um, the project, everything is set up, all of the models, um, the scripts. Well, I'm going to do the scripts while we go on, but basically the base, the the first part, the, a couple, the couple of first parts of the... Um, while the tutorials are ready, I uh, just have to record them and give you guys the assets. But um, I can't give you the assets because I'm still having a couple of legal issues. Because if anybody uh, knows about this, um, I want you to tell me: uh, Am I allowed to give you guys t so to re-upload um, my models? But the models contain an already um, sh done shader which is free on the asset store and the unity standard assets because the models they have there's a scene where all the model models are located and the scene contains the first person controller and the shaders that unity provide and the uh, tune shader so I'm not sure if I'm um, legally allowed to redistribute that so I'm gonna have to uh, see about that a bit. Um, I'm gonna have to like uh, research a bit and then I'm gonna start the series But everything is ready. You don't have to worry. I'm sorry for this long intro I just had to tell you guys that so there's no worries. Everything's on track um, I'll talk about it in a different video, but right now I'm gonna show you how you can make this jump scare So when you walk um, in front of the trigger, I just stepped on the trigger um, this jump scare appears and um, So yeah, it's uh, it's I mean you can obviously make it a lot more scarier uh, this is just for testing purposes. So basically, it, how it works is you walk, you enter this trigger, which is invisible. Uh, here it is. You walk through it, and this uh, crawler thing uh, gets enabled because on the start of the scene, it's disabled. So it gets enabled, and because of the, the animator is set up that way, um, that um, it uh, it like start when the it will just play the animation if the object is in the scene. So basically, it plays this over here, which is just an animation for him crawling. You can get this model on the um, asset store. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure how it's called. Just search up crawler, and you can get it. But basically, any kind of thing you have that plays the animation that's um, walking. So basically, it does this. So. Um, I just enable it and it walks over here and it gets uh, destroyed so you won't see it standing over here. Um, the script is pretty simple. Uh, here we have the, I call it jump scare, it's available on my github so be sure to check it out. Um, so void start, jump scare object dot set active is false. So on the beginning of the scene and the beginning of the game I told you that uh, we disabled the crawler so um, we disable it by with this line and on trigger enter it checks this uh, collider player if player dot tag player it, it checks if the thing that collided with the uh, box collider is tagged player now you have to make your player uh, be tagged player it's a default tag just click over here tag and tag it player and also be sure to um, the box the trigger that you collide with is uh, has the collider that is tagged with is trigger um, after that we say jump scare object dot set active is true, so we enable the uh, jump scare object and we start this quarantine that's called destroy object. Now, this quarantine, um, I use these uh, start quarantines and I enumerators to wait a couple of seconds until doing something. So basically, we want the crawler to appear, and after he's already appeared, we want him to walk around to here. So that's a couple, that's like two, three seconds, whatever. And then we want it to get destroyed. So if I was to put here destroy, it would just make it like enable set active the um, crawler and then destroy it at the same frame. So we're not going to be able to see him. So we start a quarantine called destroy object with which we said what destroy object is. So it's an enumerator function that uh, yield return new wait for seconds. This basically returns... And this basically does it waits 1.5 seconds before doing the rest of the code um, so basically it destroys the jump scare object and it destroys the game object so basically it destroys the trigger it destroys the trigger and it destroys the jump scare object which is the crawler because we don't want to be able to like walk through the trigger the crawler appears and then walk through it again and it appears again we just want the animation to jump scare to play one once time one time I'm sorry um, it's pretty simple. Um, hopefully you understood it. Uh, basically, you create a game object. It can be whatever. Just be sure that it has a um, 
box collider and it's or not a box collider any kind of collider and just make it uh, is trigger you can make it invisible so the player doesn't see the white wall in front of him you just uh, add the jump scare script you add the jump scare object which is the crawler you place it somewhere the player can't see and that's basically it uh, now another thing you might have heard me uh, you might have heard the sound of the crawler like a little ding when you um, walk through uh, let me show you if you don't remember so you walk over here and this little like woo sound plays this can be a scream this can be whatever that's because I've um, added a audio source on the crawler and I just placed a random clip that I have on tick this because we don't want to play it on the wake actually we do never mind I'm um, sorry um, and uh, basically when you walk through it's gonna play the sound and it's gonna do this uh, animator thing so yeah that's pretty much it it's really basic and simple script uh, now I might do another script where you already see the jump scare object for example you're standing over here and it's doing nothing and when you walk through the trigger it just like starts playing an animation it's pretty simple as well to do that instead of jump scare object and having it a game object it's enabled at the start and you just uh, make the animator uh, disabled and then enable it when you enter the trigger I have a couple of videos on an animators and things you can check out if you want that effect so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this um, soon I will um, start the uh, tutorial series and yeah another thing I did is I created a a couple of you told me that uh, you wanted to actually donate which is out of my mind so um, you actually wanted to donate so I've went ahead and done that I've created a paypal.me page where you can donate the link is in the description if you want to help me out and um, I guess like fund the things that I love to do and show you guys so um, yeah if you donate more than five uh, euros and uh, give me a I'll talk about this in a different video but basically if you donate more than five euros and uh, give me your Skype in like a uh, donation message or whatever like leaving a note um, I'll add you on Skype, help you around with your problems, and you're also going to get all of the models that I'm going to use in my tutorial series on the third person adventure game. So uh, I hope that's fair because YouTube has uh, went down a bit into giving money. So I mean, I haven't made any money before, but now I'm making even less money if that's even possible. So I really need to, you know, I mean, I you got to do what you got to do. I'm sorry. So yeah, um, it's it, you don't have to do it. It's if you just want to help me out, if, you, uh, if you're feeling generous, and yeah. So thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you next one. Bye.